Good afternoon guys and welcome to a very long day in the life. We are kicking things off here in Bali, Indonesia, celebrating with a good friend of mine, Jonas, for his 30th birthday in this incredible villa with some incredible people. With that said though, I am saying goodbye to this place a little bit early and heading off to the airport to catch my flight back home to Sydney, Australia. This is an overnight flight and they are never ideal, especially when you're flying on a budget airline. And we've got a very busy day of us as soon as we land into Sydney. We've got some exciting product launches from Google and Fujifilm, which I'm super keen to get my hands on and experience with you guys. I got no sleep on that flight whatsoever, which is probably why I'm looking a little bit rough right now. But anyway, I'm about to uh, go catch the train, meet up with my dad, and uh, we're gonna begin this day. It is a very packed day, and I don't have all that much time to sleep, so I'm gonna be tired throughout the day, but I wanna bring you guys along with me because it's gonna be a very, very cool day. Anyway, my train is just about to arrive. Let's get this Sydney day started. Even though I hardly spend any time in Australia these days, it always feels so familiar and feels like home every time I visit. My dad picked me up in style while he was finishing his very short workday. And then we took a non-negotiable stop at this bakery we always used to frequent back in 2020 to pick up what I think are the best salad rolls Sydney has on offer. All right, well, it is incredibly nostalgic to be back in this room. This is the room where it all sort of started. This is where TikTok Instagram Reels started, right here where I'm sitting right now. So I love to be back here. Anyway, after a lovely morning driving around with dad in his, uh, in his truck, just doing his thing, I was hands off. I was uh, incredibly tired the whole time and we were only driving around for an hour or two. We have now made it home and I have a load of packages to unbox. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So first things first, we're not gonna unbox that. We're gonna unbox this one right here because I know exactly what this is. This is from a friend of mine who is uh, running a lovely networking group, which I'm a part of, which is amazing. Uh, over on school.com, which is sick. I'm gonna put all of that here. It's about to get messy. And this is uh, from what I understand. Exactly. This is from Life Cycle. This is a uh, this is mushroom supplements, which is crazy. I have no idea what to expect out of these, but uh, anyway, Jai, if you're watching this, thank you very much, buddy. Do appreciate it greatly. All right, off to the side. Next one up on the list. This one is quite heavy. I have a feeling I know what this is, but I'm not sure. Also, by the way, since I left my keys back home in Indo. Well, I'm using an Allen key to un unbox everything here. Okay, we got this is taped up like crazy. Goodness me. All right, we're making making progress now. Goodness me. All right, this is this is not what I thought. This is for Amanda. Uh, this is a whole lot of skincare. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know what brand this is. I don't know what's going on. A lot of skincare stuff. Not for me. All right, we are moving that on last but not least i do know exactly what this is this one is exciting and i'm going to dive into this a little later today but this is the brand new chromebook oh i am struggling with the boxes today this is the brand new chromebook from google which they've just sent me and this is awesome this is targeted at creators which is amazing Mia, I really don't want to drop this, so I'm going to do that carefully. Lovely stuff. Boom. Just like that. There we go. This is the new Chromebook. So we're going to be diving into this a little bit later. Here we go. Oh, okay. Maybe we're getting into it right now as we speak. Oh, cool. All right. We're a little, uh, we have a little kid in here. Cool. Chromebook Plus. Oh, this is sweet. Hey, Zach, meet your new Asus Chromebook Plus CX34. Wow, that's sweet. Google just wrote me a little note right there. That is very, very nice. Anyway, like I said, we're gonna dive into this just a little bit later because to be honest with you, I haven't showered for the better part of 24 hours and traveling is just such a disgusting thing to do. So it's time to go and get showered.
After freshening up, Dad and I were on our way to the city for lunch. Every time I'm home, Dad and I love diving into a solid game of pool or two, and that's exactly where we're heading after lunch. Now, I won't let you know who absolutely wiped the floor with who. I just can't put my old man on blast like that. Alrighty, we are now back home and I am definitely starting to feel tired. Getting no sleep on that flight last night was absolute hell. But either way, we are now home and uh, I've got a handful of photos to edit for a good friend of mine. And I thought, because Google sent me their brand new laptop, why not check it out? Why not see if it can handle a, a photo editing workflow? So with that being said, I have a, a handful of photos here. We've got two photos that I just shot in Bali before I left. Uh, of Amanda here for a t-shirt company that a good friend of mine owns. So we just thought we'd take some photos while we're at this beautiful villa, why not? And uh, send some stuff over. So I've got this photo here and I've also got this photo here. We're just gonna quickly run through and edit them. Of course, we're gonna dive into my presets. We're gonna use, uh, okay, maybe what's Act 3 isn't the ideal one here. We have this like uh, kind of highlighted yellow, neon green, orange, yellow, not orange, green and yellow kind of thing. So our the usual desaturating the, the greens might not work here all that well. Okay, preset two, four. By the way, these are my iPhone presets. Even though this was shot on a camera, they still work extremely well. Okay, let's go with number two here. We're just gonna accept that and what we'll do because this is a little bit of a unique color scheme, if you will, with the, the neon on the back. I'm gonna come into the yellows here. We're gonna transfer these over to the green side. Oh, just a little bit. And then we're also gonna increase that saturation back to normal. We're gonna come into the greens, increase those a little bit over to the teal side, and then also increase the saturation. Might drop the luminance. No, actually, no, that makes it look dirty. Okay, well, reset that there. Okay, looking good. Now, quick before, before, after. I also wanna bring those blues back in the pool. So we come to the blues here. Oh, we're gonna double click. That's strange, when you double click it, resets it all the way down to zero. But double click again, yeah, minus 10, that's strange. Okay, we're using uh, just normal Lightroom, not Lightroom Classic. I find it much easier uh, because it syncs on my phone. So if I'm editing not on my normal computer with absolutely everything on it, this is a, a, nice little, uh, a nice little program. Okay, things are looking fairly nice. I would say the one thing we need to do, uh, shout out to Amanda real quick. She left her iPhone on this little step here. So let me open up the healing brush. Uh, let's decrease the brush size. I'm sure that's quite large. The phone isn't too big. Okay, there we go. Awesome, that should be looking good. Awesome, lovely stuff, except that. And I would say this edit before, after is looking pretty tasty. I would say what we will do is we will add a little bit of a masking workflow to this very quickly. Okay, this is a very fresh, fresh install of, uh, of Lightroom here. As you can tell, it's a brand new laptop. So we're just gonna do this up from the a linear gradient, up from the bottom here. The uh, Drop the exposure, but not only drop the exposure, I also wanna drop the saturation here because it's a little bit yellow down there. Okay, that's looking good. Then the last thing I wanna do is quickly draw over a radial gradient, which won't have a little uh, tutorial to come up. Okay, cool, here, invert this bad boy. Invert, there we go. And then hit light, and now we're gonna drop the exposure just a little bit here to center. Amanda, make sure she is the one, or well, the t-shirt is the one being seen in the photo, and then just increase these shadows a little bit. Cool, so we've got a before, We've got an after, things are looking very nice. By the way, the orange kind of tag on the back was supposed to be this tone, so I'm glad we've changed it. We're gonna now copy these settings and paste them on our next one. Our crop, no masking, oh yeah, we will keep the masking here. Everything else will keep the same because they were shot pretty much at the uh, exact same time. So this is the second shot that we will be editing. Let's paste these on here, a little bit more of an up close one. But what we might do is just increase our exposure quite considerably and then decrease the highlights just for good measure. Things are looking nice. Maybe adjust this radial mask we had added in just to make it a little bit darker. Just like this. Okay, that's looking good if you ask me. I would say I'm happy with those two shots there. We've got this one, there we go. And then this one also looking good. Happy days. Well, Google, thank you for sending me this out. I really do appreciate it. The Asus Chromebook. This guy definitely gets some photos edited, that's for sure. All right, we've now got to pack up 
We're gonna get changed, head to the city, because we have a new Fujifilm event to go to. They're launching the Fuji X100 XV, or IV, I'm not sure, it's the Fuji X106. Don't quote me on my Roman numerals, they're not that good. All right, and for the last time today, Dad and I jumped in the car and made our way into the city for the launch of the Fuji X106. Fuji invited myself and a plus one to attend the event, which was super nice of them. Thanks, Fuji. My quick thoughts on the X106 are that it looks pretty much identical to the X105. The IBIS is a really nice touch and that's about it. Sure, the video is better, it has a bigger sensor and autofocus has also been improved, but for what this camera is and how people use it, I'm not sure it's a huge upgrade for anyone already with the X105. And right there, that is gonna wrap up today. I'm absolutely exhausted from not being able to sleep last night on the flight and cannot wait to fall into bed and sleep for the next 20 hours. It's been a non-stop day, which are always a blast, especially in Sydney with my dad. Especially during 2020, I spent every single day with my dad on days that look somewhat similar to this. So being able to come home after moving away nearly three years ago, it's always a treat. And that's gonna wrap up today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.